Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this. Very quickly, we have um, x over square root of x equals 5. Now, I want to do this in two ways. Now, let's look at the first method. Okay, so from the first method, I would like to break this into two. Okay, um, okay, I would like to do it this way. This is x over square root of x is, is the same thing as um, x to the power of 1 over 2. So this will be equal to 5 on the right. Now, the next thing is... Remember that this is also to the power of 1. And um, if I obey one of the rules of indices, that if you have a to the power of b divided by a to the power of c, this is the same thing as a to the power of b minus c. So if it is division, you pick one of the bases and subtract the powers. So I'm going to apply the same thing here. I'll pick the x and then I'll have 1 minus 1 over 2. So this will now be equal to 5 on the right hand side. But then, do not make a mistake. This one here is bigger than 1 over 2. Okay, so... 1 minus 1 over 2 is 1 over 2. So this will now be equal to 5. And do not forget that we are looking for the value of x. So I have to do away with the power of 1 over 2. So I have x to the power of 1 over 2. Then squared. Because square and square root will cancel each other right so this is equal to 5 then you square since I introduce the square on the left I have to introduce the same square on the right right so this will go with this now so x is equal to 5 squared and 5 squared is 25 so this becomes the value of x if I use the first method. Now let's go use the second method. We still have um, x over square root of x equals 5. So the second method I will use is to cross multiply because this is over 1 and I'm going to cross multiply as I have um, 5 times root x is 5 root x equals x times 1 and it is x now the next thing is to square both sides because of this or by the way <clears throat> you can decide to divide both sides by 5 and this is gone now square root of x is equal to x over 5 and to remove the square root like we all know, we square it right. And then on the right, the square has to reflect. So that from here, this and this can now cancel. And x is equal to x over 5 squared. And if you must know, this square can be distributed, you know, for the numerator and the denominator. So this is x equals x squared over 5 squared. And 5 squared is 25. Are you saying that? So from here again, what do we do? This is still over 1. So we still have to cross multiply. So when we do that, we have x squared equals 25x. Now, let's do not divide both sides by x. That would be wrong. So take this to the left, and we have x squared minus 25x equals 0. 
Now from here, we have a common factor. This is quadratic. This is a quadratic equation. And we have the common factor of x. Then here we have 1x minus here we have 25. Then everything is equal to 0. At this point, we apply 0 product true. So it is either x equals 0 or x minus 25 equals 0. Okay. So I let's finish it here. Okay. So we, like we did before, we got x equals 0 or x minus 25 equals 0. And um, x remains 0 or x is 0 plus 25 and that is 25. Therefore, x equals 0 or 25. But if you look at these two, right? If you look at this value from the second method, we are getting two solutions, x, 0, or 25. Then the first solution, okay, where is it? The first solution gives us x to be 25 alone. But now, let's put this back into the equation and see. The one that is more, you know, more effective. We have x over square root of x equals 5. Now, if I put in the value of x as 0, it is never going to give us 5. Because at the end of the day, you will have 0 over square root of 0, and that is 0 over 0, which is undefined. It is not giving us the 5 on the right hand side. Right? But then, let's put in um, 25. If we put 25 there, it becomes 25 over square root of 25. Right? And that would be the same thing to um, 25 over 5. And 25 divided by 5 will give us 5. And you can see that it is the same 5 we had on the right hand side of the equation. Right? So, if you are to apply any of this method in examination, what you should do is to apply the first method. Because the first method gives you just the real solution, not the one that would not be satisfying. Because zero did not satisfy. Thank you for watching this to the end. If you love this, subscribe to my channel and share this to your friends.